are going to discuss about problems on overhanging beams. So, let us discuss one example problem. A beam AB of span 8 meter overhanging on both sides is loaded as shown in the figure. Calculate the reactions at both ends. This is the problem. They given the length of the beam which is 8 meter and we have to calculate the reactions at both ends. At the end of the beam, two supports are there R A and R B both are a simply supported beam already we discussed what is simply supported beam right and three loads are there 800 Newton, 2000 Newton and 1000 Newton. Now, we have to calculate the reactions at both ends reactions at both ends we have to calculate R A and R B that we have to find. So, first we want to frame the equation upward force which is equal to downward force upward force which is equal to downward force. So, upward force R A reaction forces plus R B both are acting upward R A is also acting upward R B is also acting upward right. So, which is equal to downward forces add these three downward forces 800, 2000 and 1000. So, totally 3800. So, 3800 Newton. So, this is equation 1 right. So, we have we got this equation right R A plus R B which is equal to 3800. Now, we want to take moment. So, take moment about take moment about any point. So, now we are going to take moment about a point A right. So, with respect to this point now we are going to take moment right. So, from A oh, from A with respect to A this 800 is acting anti clockwise direction and this 2000 and 1000 is acting clockwise direction and R B is acting anti clockwise directions right. So, anti clockwise direction which is equal to clockwise direction right. So, now calculate first anti clockwise direction with respect to point A right. So, moment which is equal to force into perpendicular distance. So, 800 into 3 meter so, 800 into 3 meter plus the same anti clockwise direction for R B also right. So, R B into perpendicular distance 8 meter right. So, R B into 8 meter right which is equal to clockwise direction with respect to A 2000 Newton into 5 meter right. So, 2000 into 5 meter plus 1000 into 5 plus. So, what is the distance? So, total distance which is equal to 8 to from this point right. So, 8 plus 2 which is equal to 10 right. So, 1000 into 10 with respect to A right. So, what is the distance from this which is equal to 10 meter right. So, 1000 into 10 meter right. So, R B into 8 which is equal to 2000 into 5 which is how much 2000 into 5. 2000 into 5, 2000 into 5 which is equal to 10,000. So, 10,000 plus one more uh, 10,000 minus. So, you have to calculate this and come comes to this side right. So, 800 into 3, 2400. So, 2400. So, R B which is equal to simplify this 10,000 plus 10,000 minus 2400 which is equal to 17,600 divided by 8 right which is equal to 2200 2200 Newton. So, what is the value of R B? R B which is equal to 2200 Newton. Right. So, we got the value of R B. Now, we know the equation R A plus R B which is equal to 3800. So, from this equation substitute this value of R B in this equation you will get R A right. 
so r a which is equal to 3800 minus 2200 so r a which is equal to how much 1600 newton 600 newton that's it right so this is the value of r a and r b so let us check r a r b which is equal to adding of these two and r a plus r b this is the equation and we are taking moment so after that the value of r b which is equal to 2200 newton and r a which is equal to 1600 newton right so this is how we have to calculate the r a and r b for overhanging beams right so next problem the similar problem with loads a beam a b beam a b of span 4 meter overhanging on one side up to a length of 2 meter carries a uniformly distributed load of 2 kilo newton per meter over the entire length of 6 meter this this over this uniformly distributed load is distributed over the length of 6 meter right the entire beam and the point load is also also acting 2 kilo newton per meter right as shown in the figure this is 2 kilo newton not meter 2 kilo newton is acting at the end so this is a picture so 2 kilo newton per meter the uniformly distributed load is acting along the length of a span of 6 meter 4 meter plus 2 meter right so first we have to convert this uniformly distributed load into point load right so for that this is the beam and this is r a support and this is r b right and the distance between r a r b which is equal to 4 meter right and here the point load is acting which is 2 kilo newton right so we have to convert this uniformly distributed load into point load so what is the value w 2 kilo newton per meter so this distribution is distributed to the length of 6 meter so 2 into 6 which is equal to how much so 2 into 6 which is equal to 12 kilo newton is acting right so the uniformly distributed load is uniformly distributed load is converted into 12 kilo newton as a point load and this point load is acting from r a which is 4 plus 2 which is equal to 6 meter 6 divided by 2 which is equal to 3 meter from r a right so this is the point load what we calculated this is 12 kilo newton and the distance between this r a and this point load which is equal to 3 meter right clear so let us take this point is c and this point is d right so now we have to calculate the reaction forces reaction forces r a and r b right so we converted this form into point load now we are going to frame the equation so r a upward force sum of upward force which is equal to sum of downward forces so here two upward forces are there r a and r b right so downward forces 12 kilo newton 2 kilo newton which is equal to 12 kilo newton plus 2 kilo newton which is equal to 14 kilo newton right so r a plus r b which is equal to 14 kilo newton right so we got equation 1 now take moment take moment about point a right if you want to take moment about b you can take moment about b right there is no issue so with respect to this point r a is anti clockwise direction and 12 kilo newton and 2 kilo newton is acting in the clockwise direction with respect to a right so anti clockwise direction which is equal to clockwise direction right so r b into 4 which is equal to 12 kilo newton into 3 right plus 2 kilo newton into 4 plus 2 which is equal to 6 right so now r b which is equal to 36 plus 12 divided by 4 which is equal to 48 divided by 4 right 48 divided by 4 which is equal to 12 kilo newton so this is the value of r b r b which is equal to 12 kilo newton right then 
substitute this R B value in this equation, then you will get R A, right? So now R A which is equal to 14 minus 12, so R A which is equal to 2 kilo newton, right? So R A which is equal to 2 kilo newton and R B which is equal to 12 kilo newton, right? Let us check the answer. R A which is equal to 2 kilo newton and R B which is equal to 12 kilo newton, right? I hope you understand this problem. Next problem with different supports. A beam AB 1.7 meter long is loaded as shown in the figure. Determine the reactions at A and B, right? So this is the simple problem. We have to calculate R A and R B, right? So R A and R B, right? See the picture. At the end A, it's a hinged support, and at the end B, it's a roller support, right? So as we discussed earlier, the pins hinged support has two reaction forces. One is horizontal force, another one is vertical forces. Whereas for roller support, the reaction force which is perpendicular to the base of the roller, right? So This roller support has only one reaction, which is perpendicular to the base of the roller, right? So, determine the reactions at A and B. So, at the point A, two reaction forces are there: R A X and R A Y, right? So, with the help of this two reactions, finally we have to find R A, right? The another one is R B. Clear? So, this is we are going to calculate, right? Now resolve the vertical and horizontal forces, right? So we discussed already. If the force is inclined with respect to horizontal, then this force is divided into two component. One is horizontal component, another one is vertical component, right? So this is horizontal and vertical. This is 20 sine 60 degree, and this is 20 cos 60 degree. Similarly, this force, right? So this is 30 sine 45 degree, and this is 30 cos 45 degree, and similarly, this is also right. This is 15 sine 80 degree, and this is 15 cos 80 degree, right? So. Resolve the forces vertically and horizontally. Now we are going to resolve the forces vertically, right? Vertical forces, upward forces, and downward forces. Two upward forces. One is R A Y, another one is R B, right? So R A Y plus R B, which is equal to up downward forces. So 15 newton is acting downward. So first we have to write 50 plus. Here the 20 sine 60 degree is acting downward, so 20 sine 60 degree plus next force 30 sine 45 degree, right? So 30 sine 45 degree, right? Plus the last force which is 15 sine 80 degree, right? So 15 sine 80 degree, right? So this is equation one. Similarly. Now resolve the horizontal forces. So right hand side, which is equal to left hand side forces. So R A X. So this is sum of vertical forces, which is equal to zero. Now we are going to calculate sum of horizontal forces, which is equal to zero. Right? Horizontal forces. First force is R A X. So R A X. Right? So here there is no horizontal forces. Leave it. And here the horizontal forces there. Right? This is acting towards right side, whereas this 20 cos 60 degree is acting left side. So this is negative, right? So let us take uh, towards right side which is positive and towards left side which is negative, right? So negative force 20 cos 60 degree, right? And similarly, this is towards acting right side. So take positive, right? So plus 30 cos 45 degree and the last force which is acting left side towards left side so negative right so minus 15 cos 80 degree this which is equal to zero this is equation two right clear so now we from this equation we can calculate R A X because except this R A X remaining forces are numerical values right so. 
R A X keep R A X in the left side which is equal to. So, negative sign which is converted into positive because of right hand side right this is 30 cos 45 degree plus 15 cos 80 degree right. So, now R A X which is equal to 20 cos 60 what is the value 20 cos 60 which is equal to 10 right. 20 into cos 60 degree which is equal to 10 minus 30 cos 45 degree which is equal to 21.21 plus 15 cos 80 degree which is equal to 2.60 right. So, now R A X which is equal to 10 minus 21.21 plus 2.60 which is equal to 10 minus 21.21 plus 2.60 which is equal to minus of 8.61 Newton. This is we got the minus value or A x. Here in the diagram this is upward right. So, this is the direction what we assumed which is wrong. Right. So, instead of the R x is acting towards right side. So, based on this we have to write the direction which is R A x which is equal to 8.61 Newton towards left side. Right. This is the answer for R A x. Right. Now, now we have to take now let us check the answers up to this vertical forces which is equal to 0 R A Y plus R B which is equal to other forces. Similarly, R A R A Y plus R B which is equal to numerical value we have to convert this numerical values and the value which is equal to R A Y plus R B which is equal to 103.3 Newton right. I forgot to calculate. So, just calculate and you will get this answer 103.3 right and horizontal forces which is equal to 0. Similarly, we got R A x which is equal to 8.61 negative value right and the direction which is we converted into positive then we have to change the direction which is equal to towards left side right. Now, we have to calculate R A y and R B right. So, for that we have to take moment, moment about any point let us take moment about point A right. Let us take moment about point A clockwise direction which is equal to anti clockwise direction right. Here two forces. So, um, it is very difficult to uh, take horizontal forces because there is no perpendicular distance right. So, here 20 sin 60 degree similarly here 30 sin 45 degree here 15 sin 80 degree right. So, now take moment take moment about point A right. So, R B into 1.7 meter this is anti clockwise direction which is equal to clockwise direction 50 into first one 20 centimeter 20 into minus 3 we have to convert this is meter that is why we take a 1.7 whereas here centimeter is there we have to convert into meter right. Similarly, plus 20 sin 60 degree is a vertical value into perpendicular distance 20 plus 40 which is equal to 60 into 10 to the power of minus 3 right. Similarly, 30 sin 45 degree into what is the value 40 plus 70 70 plus 40 which is equal to 110 plus 20 130 130 into 10 to the power of minus 3 right sorry minus 2 minus 2 because centimeter divided by 100 and last one is 15 sin 80 degree into what is the value 1.7 meter. So, that is ok because here meter is there that is why right. So, convert this <coughs> convert this 
convert this R B which is equal to the final answer. So, this is what we framed right. This is the equation we framed in the previous slide and simplify this we got R B which is equal to 42.98 right. So, substitute that value into R A Y plus R B equation right we know that already R A B R A Y plus R B which is equal to 1 R 3 substitute this equation in this R B then we got R A Y right clear R A Y is also in the upward direction. So, if we want to calculate R A with the help of R A X and R A Y right. So, R A which is equal to root of r a x square plus r a y square. So, from this we can calculate r a value right r a which is equal to 60.92 right. So, this is the method we have to solve the problem right. Thank you.